Um, you've written several books on right-wing extremism, including Hate in the Homeland, The New Global Far Right. I couldn't find any of your work studying uh, left extremism or Antifa or BLM. I mean, we all know Antifa and BLM riots are responsible for $2 billion on damage across American cities. I'm an expert on the far right because I spent the first 20 years of my career working in Germany in the post-Holocaust, post-unification surge of far right extremism. And I know you have a hearing on Tuesday on uh, far left extremism. Yeah, but Dr. Was, Miller addressed, just to let you know, this is America, we're, we're not Nazi Germany. I, I am one of those that believe our First Amendment is one of the greatest rights that we have. Um, and I also am so grateful to, to be an American, uh, always believing that freedom of speech was something that we possessed until the past few years, uh, where myself and many other Americans, Dr. Kaldorf, uh, we found ourselves, I, I like you, had my Twitter account uh, permanently banned uh, for posting my speech, uh, opinions, and thoughts on Twitter about COVID-19. I'd like to ask each of you, uh, Mr. Weingarten, do you believe in the First Amendment? Wholeheartedly. Dr. Kaldorf? I do. Dr. Miller Address? Absolutely. Mr. Turley? I do. Great. Well, it seems that we share all share the same belief. But I'd like to ask a question, uh, Dr. Miller Address, if, if I may. Um, you're an expert on right, so-called right-wing extremism, including online radicalization by right-wing extremist groups. I'm just, I'm just wondering, uh, how do you consider your organization Peril and uh, a good source of informing people on what they should believe and not believe when you do no study whatsoever into left extremism? First of all, just to, to, to respond to your query about what we teach people, we don't teach people anything. We are just looking at how, helping them understand what the tactics of manipulation on, are online so they can make better decisions. Um, we have experts who do uh, work on environmental extremism. We have experts who work on Islamist forms of extremism. But because both under the Trump administration and the Biden administration, the emphasis has been right now on the greatest, um, most lethal threat, which has been determined to be far right, meaning white supremacist extremism and um, unlawful militias. Well, That's Dr. Miller, just, just real quick, I'm, I'm out of time, but would you consider Trump, ex Trump supporters extremists? We are worried about violent extremism, so that to the extent, not about what people believe, but to the extent that they are moving toward violence. Trump supporters, specifically. If they're calling for violence, it doesn't matter to me who they support. I haven't seen any. By the way, there's a great rally in Iowa this weekend. If you want to study uh, people on the right and what they believe, you'll find secure borders, freedom of speech. Gentlewoman's um, time. No Thank crime. You Thank you. time I has back. expired. I re recognize Mrs. Ramirez for uh, her... Five minutes of questioning.